Hi, this is Dennis DeSantis from Ableton. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record MIDI notes that sustain even though they extend past the edge of a loop brace. So I'm going to record a quick loop that has uh, two chords in it, one of which starts before the, the end of the bar and extends into the next bar. So I just want this to be one bar long, but I have a chord here that starts before the beginning of the bar. It starts on the AND of four of the preceding bar. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these notes, I'm going to copy them to the clipboard, and I'm going to paste them to the same beat position in the bar that I want to loop, which in this case is the AND of four. So I'm pasting. And we can hear now that even though we have three chords here, we only hear two. That's because these chord, this chord here, these notes extend past the edge of the loop brace and the same notes at the beginning of the loop brace begin before it. In a situation like this, Live will play this as if it's one sustained chord. So it sees that these stick past the end and that these start at the beginning and that they're the same notes and so it plays them sustained. And you can do a similar thing to say start a clip uh, and have a note in it that extends indefinitely. You can just create a short loop like this. And then as long as the playback start position is here, every time I play this clip, it will begin by triggering this chord and then it will loop indefinitely because the ends of the chord stick out past the edge of the loop brace. So let's turn this off. So I have no double triggering here, I just have one long sustained note. And every time I launch the clip again, it actually doesn't matter how long the uh, loop brace is, as long as the start of the chord is before the loop brace and the notes stick out past the end of it. So that's a quick tutorial about how to make notes sustain even across the edges of a loop brace.